Right, welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, last week, we reported a story uh, that went viral uh, on uh, social media. An innocent uh, veteran uh, was uh, t- arrested by the woke police of the United Kingdom for simply posting on Facebook. Somebody complained that their feelings were hurt, and because of that, he was taken away. Now, luckily, Lawrence Fox and Harry Miller, who's an ex-copper, they were there, and uh, they filmed it. Uh, and they exposed uh, what was happening, the event. Uh, Harry Miller was also taken by the police, uh, but the reality was that the whole thing got went viral, So and everybody kicked off. There was a backlash. Now, uh, the police commissioner have come out and the whole of his, in, in organization to uh, criticize their own woke police officers for saying, well, this shouldn't have been done. Now, this is actually thanks to the Bad Law Project, backed up by Lawrence Fox and Harry Miller and those guys who uh, recently launched it. And uh, this is the, obviously the campaign is clearly going successful because this is the backlash that we had uh, from the police commissioner. This is the video update from Lawrence Fox. The following is a statement from the PCC of Hampshire Police, Donna Jones. I'm aware of the video published on Twitter, which shows the arrest of two men in Hampshire yesterday, one for malicious communications and one for obstruction of a police officer. I've taken this issue up with the constabulary today and have been advised Officers made the arrests following a complaint from a member of the public of an alleged hate crime. It follows a post on social media of progress pride flags in the shape of my bad. I am concerned about both the proportionality and necessity of the police's response to this incident. When incidents on social media receive not one but two visits from police officers, but burglaries and non-domestic break-ins don't always get a police response, something is wrong. Yeah, it really is. As Police Commissioner, I am committed to ensuring Hampshire Constabulary serves the public as the majority of people would expect. It appears on this occasion this has not happened. This incident has highlighted a very topical issue which Hampshire Constabulary and other police forces need to learn from. In order to support this, I will be writing to the College of Policing to make them aware of the incident and encourage greater clarification on the guidance in order to ensure that police forces can respond more appropriately in future. That, ladies and gentlemen, is people power and bravery and standing up. And huge congratulations to the gentleman who got in touch with the Bad Law Project. And this is a message to all police forces across the country. If you're going to try and interfere with good, ordinary citizens' lives in this country, the Bad Law Project are coming for you. Yes. So this is actually spot on. Um, what, the, we have a big problem, the, the deep, the root of the problem, which is uh, the policies that comes from the Home Office and then also the commanders uh, who implement and all enforce uh, those guidelines but let's talk about hampshire because we talk about the the police commissioner and the officers there you know maybe they could spend more time focusing on real problems considering that when it comes to burglary in hampshire eight thousand incidents were reported eight thousand have been reported and in, in hampshire of all places as well it's not like luton or birmingham <laughs> or even lewisham where i'm actually from and um, th- these these problems need to be addressed Go after the real criminals and find out what's going on. Keep us safe. I don't care if you want to protect my feelings. My feelings don't need to be protected. My physical body needs to be protected. My property, my home, that that needs to be protected. Not this nonsense. And this again, we have to always uh, talk about these things. Otherwise, nobody will be covering them. Now, we're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to talk about Dido Harding. Do you remember Dido Harding, who was appointed by Matt Hancock during the lockdown? Uh, to lead the, the lockdown projects and uh, we're going to come back and talk about that in half an hour and don't forget to get your merchandise build back britain the link is in the description on my tc and we are the media <laughs> 